Hey, when you are trying to update iPad OS 17 on your device, are you getting pop-ups like unable to check for update, an error occurred when checking for software update, or maybe for some of you, it's stuck on the update process? Well, you can see you are not the only one. Let's solve it together. Now, we are using iPad mini 6 in this video, but it will work on any device that's iPad OS 17 compatible. Now first, force quit all these actions and apps on your iPad. After that, just go ahead, lock your iPad, wait a bit, and then unlock it again. Next, check your internet connection. You can turn it off and on, just refresh it. Or just turn on airplane mode, wait a bit, and turn it off again. Also, while you're here, why don't you just turn off airdrop, or Bluetooth for a while, if those are on on your iPad, those might interrupt the internet connection. Still not working? Well, if you're currently using Focus or Do Not Disturb, turn it off. Or maybe you're using lockdown mode? Well, turn it off from settings to privacy and security, from there to lockdown mode and just turn it off. Your iPad might restart after that. After the restart, it's supposed to work, but it's still not working. Make sure your iPad has at least 60% charge, otherwise the update process will definitely get interrupted. Well, if you want, you just plug it in while the update is in process. Now, Wi-Fi and charge is okay, but still not updating? Well, you know, iPad OS 17 needs sufficient free space to download. Now, if you think you need more storage place, you can just go ahead and clear it from settings to iPad storage. You can just offload app if you want. You can just reinstall it later after the update. Now, after following all these steps, as you can see, our update process is in progress. Now, if some of you are still facing problem with that, you can install iPadOS 17 from Mac. Just connect your iPad to Mac if that's a trusted device and available to you. And you can get the update from there as well. And after that, hopefully the update is finally successful on your iPad. Let us know which step actually solved your problem. Thank you for watching.